Hey guys, it's me, Lesnar, from Lesnar's Space Tips and Advice. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a tangent um, from our usual fundamental videos, and I'm actually going to do a tutorial on how to play a bass line that is, frankly, very special to me. Um, it is definitely more of an advanced bass line. I learned this after I was getting out of my novice stages of playing bass, so if you are a new player, you might want to deter. But if you do wish to continue, this might be something you have to devote a lot of practice in. Luckily, this is a video you can rewind to any point you need to to kind of refresh your memory on what you need to know. Um, it is more of an intermediate bass line. I'd recommend, you know, having a little bit, uh, at least a, maybe a year's skill under your belt. You know, it, hopefully you... Definitely know what you're doing, you know the notes, you know the frets, um, you definitely need to know your strings. It is very, uh, there's a lot of movement along the neck as the song progresses, but um, I'm just going to be teaching you guys the intro today. But it is by a band I'm very fond of, it is a prog rock band called Yes. Um, the song, if you are looking for fundamental still, the song teaches a lot about the importance of the minor scale and also the slap style of playing bass. Um, seeing as you know it's a song by Yes and it involves slap bass, many of you have probably jumped to the conclusion that the song is roundabout, and you would be correct. This song is very important to me, it's one of my favorites by Yes, and I would consider it their uh, magnum opus of sorts. It's probably one of their greatest songs that they've released. Uh, Jimmy Squire uh, has created an excellent bass line that I wish to share with you guys today. Starting out, it is um, just an open E string. You're going to want to hit that twice, then you're going to want to move up to the second fret of the E string. Then you're going to want to go to the third fret. Now this is where the string changing comes in place. You're going to want to move to the A string, just play it open. Then you're going to want to go to the second fret. Then you're going to move to the D string and also play that open. Then to the 2nd fret. The whole line with the correct rhythm should sound like... Hopefully you were able to capture that. If you need to go back to any part in the video to, uh, you know, understand what I was going, you can slow the video down, take it frame by frame, kind of figure out what I'm doing. It's not as hard as it seems. It's a very intimidating, but trust me, you'll get the hang of it. Um, thank you for watching this video. I'd like to move on to just a few of our sponsors. We are actually uh, sponsored by Sabian. Um, if uh, we're actually doing a giveaway for the Sabian shirt, if you'd want to go online, um, share this video on Facebook, uh, you have to be a subscriber and you have to like this video. We will be taking every single uh, YouTube account that subscribes to this and shares this on Facebook. A, we're going to put you guys into a random number generator and pull one of your guys' names out to win this awesome shirt. It comes in a large, but if you or extra large, um, but you know that should suit most of our viewers. We are also sponsored by um, Wheaties. This is a uh, actually one of the special Muhammad Ali edition boxes. This is a very important box to me. He was a hero as I was growing up. Um, a very, very, very important person to me. And our last sponsor fell down over here. It's probably not good. Um, we are uh, sponsored by Sundrop. Uh, it's one of my favorites, so it is pretty good. Um, that's about it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. Um, please remember to like, subscribe, not only to enter the drawing, but also it just helps the channel grow. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Lesnar signing out. See you guys.